All right, so you've decided to come to St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands. Excellent choice, by the way. Now you've got to plan what you're going to do on this amazing island. Top on your list should be a visit to Buck Island National Monument. How are you going to get there? Well, you need a boat and a special permit. The National Park Service allows five tour operators to take tours to Buck Island. We chose Llewellyn's charters and couldn't have been happier. Llewellyn has been taking tourists over to the special island since 1960. He operates at a St. Croix Yacht Club, which is located on the eastern end of the island. You will meet the local residents, these huge iguanas. They may look friendly, uh, but don't get too close. Before you start the tour, you will row out to Llewellyn's 37-foot sailboat. We loved the fact that there were no motors, only sails. That means no gas smells, which can sometimes make you feel a little nauseous. Just fresh, crisp sea air. Another thing I love about Llewellyn's charters is they only take six people at a time on their tour. So that means when you're snorkeling, you will not have a bunch of people smacking you in the face with their fins. Finding a small group tour was super important to us since we are all about having the best snorkeling experience. This is one distinguishing factor when you're trying to figure out which tour company to pick. That's me and my husband, our captain and crew member Dave, who really made the trip a lot of fun. First stop on the Buck Island tour is the Underwater Snorkeling Trail. We did this tour just before the Christmas winds were picking up, which made the snorkeling incredibly challenging. I strongly advise timing your trip to avoid the Christmas winds to make the snorkeling more enjoyable. Despite the challenging conditions, we still had a blast. As a heads up, a fair amount of the coral is dead. However, you're still gonna see some beautiful brain and elkhorn coral. Also, expect to see some blue tangs and parrotfish. We even saw a barracuda as we swam back to our boat. All right, so one of the things that made our trip to Buck Island incredibly special was coming across this massive school of jacks. And as you can see, they were not shy and got up quite close, almost a little too close for comfort. But this definitely made our trip. After getting a good workout and snorkeling, our next stop was Turtle Beach. This is probably one of the most picturesque beaches in all of the Caribbean. This little gem has super soft white sand and clear turquoise waters. Yeah, I kind of felt guilty. Dave was definitely doing all the work while well, we just kind of sat back and relaxed. You could do a short hike to the top of the island, which takes about 45 minutes round trip, but we were just too tired after all of that snorkeling and chose to chill on the beach and cool off in the water instead. By the way, prepare for some intense sun. If you want to avoid skin cancer and wrinkles, I strongly advise bringing a hat and wearing a sun shirt. And of course, applying a reef safe sunscreen. After an incredible four hours, it was time to get back on the boat and head on back. 
you want to know more about our Buck Island trip, all the details are in the link below.